What's up, everyone? We're back for some more Helldivers 2. Gonna be diving in against the Automatons this time. Against the Bot Menace, which I believe a lot less people have faced off against, even with the event they have going on right now. And part of that may be because people just want to play their Star Trip, Starship Troopers a simulator and battle against the bugs. And the other part may be that because while most of this uh, bot defense mission has been going on, this bot defense event has been going on, uh, the mission itself has been glitched and the servers have been uh, in free fall. So uh, hopefully, I believe they released a patch today to deal with um, some of the server issues. But honestly, I haven't really played the game in the last few days. This is actually footage from last week. Uh, I was, tried to play over the weekend, couldn't really get into anything because server stuff. Maybe played a couple missions here and there, but then the game would crash and I'd get kicked out. So uh, hopefully, for those of you who did get the game, recently uh hopefully it's been a little bit better for you and if it not hopefully it's better for all of us soon i'll have to try out uh, later uh today after i record this to see if it's working any better but uh yeah this is gonna be the bot stuff doing difficulty seven suicide mission uh I, we did try a difficulty eight before this and uh we kind of got steamrolled and died and part of that i think was because i was not running a particularly good loadout um Namely that I was missing my beloved auto cannon, which is kind of the uh, the support weapon I've been using on pretty much everything now, but especially against the bots, because just being able to get through some armor, just like these, uh, these little walker guys, ATSDs, just being able to shoot those from the front is really nice. And there's so much armored stuff, especially that the automatons have, including buildings and all of their heavy... Uh, enemies to go around aren't really as easy to hit. They A lot of them do have weak spots in the back, especially like the ATSD guys. You just shoot the little guy riding in the back and he goes down like that. But there are a lot of situations where you can't really flank and uh, having some sort of explosive to get through that is really nice. But as you may have heard uh, from the mission control guys shouting out, uh, we've been getting shot by a mortar as soon as we spawned in. Finally taking it out there. One of my teammates tried to call in an eagle strike on there. Uh, and they took out some other stuff nearby, but did not get the mortar itself. But it's finally down, so that's why it's kind of been chaos from the beginning. We tried to land on the beaches at the start, because it figured to be kind of be out of the action. But did not know we were going to be in range of a mortar emplacement from the get-go. We finally cleared that out. There's still a little bit of stuff around here. I think there's a automaton outpost nearby as well. And actually, there does go down. One of my teammates managed to take that out. So now we're kind of clearing up some of these guys. I'm not sure there's anything else by the mortar emplacement, or if it was all by itself. Uh, we do still have some enemies, and one of us goes down, so we haven't quite stabilized yet. This is one of the things about the uh, the harder difficulties, is that if you get in a situation where you're just getting swarmed by enemies, it's very difficult to get out of it, because they keep coming in, and a lot of times you have to move around the map to try and avoid enemies, and you just end up getting more patrols called in. You need to get near another base and start calling in stuff. Uh, but we're getting in a little bit of a better spot here. Got some tanks coming in, called that orbital strike on one, took it out, but it looks like there's actually a second one directly behind that. Still firing away, I mean, you can see right there, rolling up through the destroyed corpse of the first tank. So we're not quite good yet, got blasted there by something, but I'm still alive. I think one of my teammates threw down some sort of explosive. But most of the uh, the grunts are out of here, and there's no uh, drop going on at the moment. It looks like another patrol is walking up, those are mostly uh, smaller guys. If we take those out without them calling in a drop, we should be okay, but I'm walking through the razor wire at the moment, diving and shooting that guy in the face. Took some chest damage, and it looks like the tank actually is still alive right above me there, but I think I'm kind of safe in this hole here. It's on fire, so it's close to dying. It looks like I do have its attention, so one of my teams is able to take it out with some explosives there. And then we're pretty good here. Probably going to just have to clean up a little bit of these remaining guys. So the regular grunts of the uh, automatons, I feel like aren't too bad even when you get on the higher difficulties it's just like the little sword guys and they have their guns and even the rocket guys you can see there they're not super accurate there are other rocket enemies that are incredibly accurate and they're very annoying but unless you get unlucky with the the standard guys with the rockets they're usually not gonna be too much trouble but just the thing is if they got you surrounded uh you don't you know you have to worry about getting attacked from range and that's something that you don't have to worry about as much with the bugs so cover is a lot more important and that's why I'm going to try and get behind this rock here as that patrol comes in. Uh, but you're going to see, they kind of do a little bit of cheating here. I'm talking about how cover is important, but you might have seen one of those guys kind of facing through the corpse of the tank. And they do more than that. Uh, I think I'm safe here, but you might see some bullets are coming out in front of me, despite being uh, in cover here. And that's because a few of them phased into the rock, which is kind of cheating. Uh, they should be able to do that. That's probably another uh, thing on their list of bugs they got to fix. And I'm only figuring out right now, I'm like, what is going on? I thought I'm safe behind this cover, and I keep getting shot. 
Uh, I called him my mortar turret. Hopefully that doesn't mortar me. Uh, I did mention the mortar turret not as effective against the bugs as get right on top of you, but uh, could have the same problem here since I've got some some bots pretty close facing into rocks. There, one of them finally comes out. Punch him in the leg, shoot him, and he is dead. I think there might be one more in there, but you saw finally got a bot drop coming in, and they dropped one tank. And I don't know if my mortar can really deal damage to that. Maybe if it hits it on the back when it's firing off, but uh, I think it's cleared out a couple other guys there. Firing at those ATSD guys. And while all that was going on, one of my teammates it did go and managed to uh, activate the radar station, so we should have everything visible on our map now. But to kill a couple of those ATSD guys, I think it's just the tank left. He's starting to roll up the hill on top of my mortar turret. <laughs> he's in danger. Uh, but I'm thinking he's okay. Someone took out the tank. And with that, we can start making our way towards the first actual objective, since we've basically just been doing sub-objectives for now. And I think... Uh, we actually are pretty close to one of them here. This is the uh, the mission for this one is to acquire the soil scan data. So we got to do these two different verify or or vein location things, which are actually pretty easy once you actually find them. They're one of the uh, the simpler objectives, I'd say. You do have to wait a little bit uh, while it's doing this step here that I activated now. So you just kind of have to defend the area. But we've been kind of doing that this whole time here. So in a use this opportunity to call in a resupply because they're actually pretty safe. There is a tank over there on the hill but i i think it's kind of stuck I, i'm not sure if it's it doesn't look like it's destroyed but uh it's actually kind of realistic i guess is up on an angle there where its treads can't touch the, touch the ground and it's uh doesn't seem to be doing much of anything so i'm just kind of taking a look at it i decided i'm gonna call an orbital strike and it phased out of existence so i don't know what was going on with that but it's gone now and unfortunately it kind of wasted an orbital strike but uh yeah normally not this glitchy i feel like with the enemies but this particular mission uh, they were kind of all over the place, but we're going to make our way over here into another one of the outposts. Just a light outpost, so I think a single place to blow up. And pick up some of the samples, and then I think we can start making our way towards the other side of the map where our other uh, Verify Oil location is. But while we're on our trek across the map, there's some water here, and one of my teammates tries to swim in some deep water and ends up dying. And that's actually pretty bad because it's tough to get your gear back um if you drown in the water so <laughs> i think he actually had to d go without his auto cannon for a bit there but uh, now that we've kind of crossed that area we're running into another huge group of enemies i think this is where i call it yeah i call them the orbital laser so that's uh that's a strategy i've been using a bit more recently um i kind of like it because it is very strong and i think uh even though it's not explosive it is capable of destroying more of the uh heavy enemies i think you can take out a tank it takes a little bit to focus it with the laser but uh It'll just kind of blast around an area, targeting every enemy within and doing what it can to kill them all. But it has a pretty long cooldown. I want to say it's like six minutes or something. I'm not sure if I'm exact on that. And you can actually only use it three times per mission. I, I'm, I think it might be the only stratagem that's limited like that. I initially thought the, uh, the eagle stratagems uh, were limited like that too. But actually, they have a certain amount of times so you can call them down, and then you just have to send the eagle to rearm, and then you get them back. So they're actually... Uh, not really all that limited because the rearm itself only takes i think about two and a half minutes so uh, i've been using those more recently didn't uh, i don't think i had any of them unlocked as of doing this mission but uh, the little bit i did get to play in the server apocalypse i did unlock some of those so i'm liking those but laser did clear up the area a little bit and allowed us to advance and now we're in uh we're going for one of the other sub objectives to uh, stop the uh, illegal radio broadcast but you might see in the top left of the screen got uh, that red stratagem symbol and also their static on our reinforced number that's because we are nearby a stratagem jammer which is probably the most annoying uh sub objective well maybe the mortar might be more annoying now, now that i've experienced that but this is definitely one of the most annoying uh sub objectives you can run into against the automatons and that when you're in a certain range of that jammer you can't call down any of your stratagems that includes uh, reinforce resupply airstrikes any support weapons, anything at all, is completely blocked by that. And it's not a uh, sub-objective you can destroy uh, from a distance, as far as I'm aware. You can't, like, blast it away with autocan or anything like that. So you do have to get close to it in its jamming range, and then you have to shut it down, and then you can blow it up. And I think after it's shut down, you can call down anything you want here. But we did just, we're still able to complete the illegal radio broadcast while it's going on. And now uh, another glitch has struck me where I'm in a, a bit of a weird pose sliding around. Uh, like I'm still dialing on the console while I'm fighting things. Don't think this gives me any sort of strategical benefit, but there's not really a downside to it either, aside from just looking goofy. I tried to dive to get rid of it, but uh, yeah, that didn't work. Uh, but thankfully, picking up that sample kind of reset my animation, so I'm back to normal. 
but yeah sometimes for the stratagem jammers it can just be easier to just avoid them completely depending on where they are in the map i know the first time i encountered one was on one of the uh the 12 minute kind of blitz missions where you have to destroy as much as you can in 12 minutes and still evac and we ran into a stratagem jammer, jammer and we had like no clue what to do about it because it was our first time so we just ended up running around it and avoiding it because people kept dying and not being able to call in uh reinforces near there is a pretty big deal and even right here you um we had to back up a little bit to call in our reinforce because we were in that jammer range over there by all those enemies um but we i think we are gonna end up going for it now that one of our teams ran over and did the other main objective so we only have the one a final main objective left and then we can extract so we still got a good amount of time over 20 minutes so we are going to try and make our way over to this jammer after we clear out kind of this fight right here and i'd say the closest comparison to the stratagem jammer that the bugs have would probably be the uh the spore tower or whatever that's called which is the uh kind of the big mushroom that puts out a lot of uh, spores to limit your visibility and that one's pretty annoying but the thing is if you see it you can just destroy it as long as you have like good long range stuff and that's another reason why i just love the autocan is that if you see that uh, the spore things you can just blast them away with your autocan i think it only takes like three shots and you can blow it up and then all the spores will be gone you can see again so uh, stratagem jammer definitely manages to be more annoying in that regard here we're cleaning up most of this fight here they still got a hulk over there you might have seen his bright uh, red vents in the back if you shoot those that deals a lot more damage and I was trying to shoot him in the front with my auto cannon. I know you can knock the arms off of a Hulk, and then I don't think they can really do anything if you knock both arms off. They have a weapon in each arm. It's actually an achievement for um, disarming a Hulk and then letting it live through mission when you extract. Um, I haven't tried that yet, but it seems like it takes a lot. I don't know if the auto cannon's particularly good at it, because I was throwing a lot of shots into that one's arm and I didn't manage to take it off. So sometimes it's just better uh, to wait for a teammate to kind of fan out and give you a shot at the back because at least with the autocan it only takes a couple shots to the vents in the back and it will go down similar to how the tanks are but a little bit harder with the hulk because he's a lot more mobile and uh, honestly a, a, a lot more threatening up close depending on his weapon loadout because they do have a few options they usually have a like a buzz saw like a chainsaw and then uh sometimes like a flamethrower sometimes a gun sometimes uh, a rocket and i would say the rocket one is definitely the most annoying but flamethrower can be pretty scary too Right here, I'm trying to take down that dropship. It has long since dropped its uh, its thing that is bringing to the battle, but uh, you can destroy dropships. I think the best way I know of is to just use an expendable anti-tank launcher and just hit one of the engines and it'll crash down. Uh, not sure how many shots it might take from Rotocam, but you can see there are a few shots. The engine was not enough, so just end up going away. But right here, we got the tank and its attention is on me, so I'm just hiding behind this rock. You can see K3, my teammate, going for the big flank there doing a couple shots to the bag and it goes down so really there a lot of the stuff for the automaton seems really intimidating just because of how like heavily armored they are and a lot of your basic guns don't really do anything like you know against the the bugs even some of the heavily armored guys that aren't the chargers you know i i like to run the machine gun a lot against them and uh as long as you're not hitting like their hardest armor points um usually you can get through that even with like a machine gun but the bots the heavily armored stuff it's like if you try and hit the front you're basically doing nothing but if you are able to hit like their weaker points uh they do go down relatively easily definitely easier than a charger at least and i'd say a bile titan as well which are kind of the the biggest threats i'd say from the uh the bug perspective here comes another hulk this one does have the chainsaw and the flamethrower so i'm thinking i'm dead here because he's really close to me and that flamethrower has decent range he does hit me there burns my arm and gets me around half health normally if they hit you with any flame at all it's like an instant death sense but uh, i somehow managed to survive here and i'm running around still firing those flames managed to get around the wall but some of my teammates are coming over to me trying to get that flank they did end up taking him out something weird shot of him another glitch we did go down and then we just got this kind of last drop coming in here i think uh we we disabled the broadcast or the stratagem uh thing so we were able to call back in our reinforcements and then now that we've uh, cleared out the remainder here, I think we are just got a couple enemies left, and then we can move on to the next area. And there you can see those are the vents. Got one shot on him, but he's kind of at a bit of a weird angle. So I can't get a real good shot on it. And here's a clean shot now. And he goes down just like that. So that, that's definitely the best way to deal with hulks, is just get someone to draw its attention and shoot in the back. But with all the chaos going on, it's not always as easy as it might seem cleared up the last of those enemies here and then we're kind of making our way towards the last objective area and i think there's also a big outpost here so i tried to call my precision strike because there was a, a automaton factory over there but i think i was a little bit off 
on my aim because it comes down and it does not destroy. I got some kills still, so it wasn't completely wasted. So I did have a, a drop right there before, but we're still going to have to deal with that somehow. We got kind of got these guys climbing over the hill here. We've got some eagle strikes coming in that base still. And this, uh, this, uh, this walker comes around the corner here, and I'm a little bit confused because the guy on the back is dead, and normally they crumple and fall down there, but uh, this one's still walking around. It's kind of got a mind of its own. I don't think it's shooting at all, but I, I wasn't sure if it was a threat or not, so <laughs> I was trying to shoot it in the vent to see if I could do any damage, but ultimately I decided that it was probably okay to leave it alone for now, but it's still going. It'd be kind of be cool if you could hijack those if you take out the enemy, but uh, I don't think there's a functionality for that. But they had mentioned, uh, I think Helldivers 1 had some mechs, uh, and I think they've mentioned that they're planning to add some of those to Helldivers 2 at some point as well. But uh, there's actually another one standing up over there too, so I don't know why they've uh, suddenly gained mines of their own and just standing around. But someone's drawing Hulk attention, and I'm getting distracted by all these... Uh, ATS, he's just walking around with nothing on him. Can't remember which ones have pilots and which ones don't. Like, that was from staring right at me, but I don't, I don't think it's going to shoot me. Uh, but one of my teammates got taken out, and now the Hulk has his focus on me. And I'm, once again, I'm trying to see if I can maybe take those arms off. And I'm, I definitely got to keep my distance. You see, that flamethrower is getting really close. I've got some distance between us, but he's still posing a pretty serious threat there. But uh, teammate respawned kind of in a rough spot there. And Hulk is immediately going to turn his focus to him, so I'm going to try and kill him before it causes too much trouble. And he does go down, so hopefully my teammate will be able to continue to survive here. But yeah, we're still kind of struggling to approach the outpost. There's just a lot of enemies out here. I think some patrols are joining in the fight, because there hasn't been a bot drop in a while. But now this tank has shown up. And I want to call in my orbital strike, but I think it's on cooldown side to side. You know what? I still got two orbital lasers. And we're getting, we're past the halfway point of the mission, so I'm just going to call that in. You can see it just lasering that tank on the top, and I think it will eventually go down. Yeah, so it takes a bit for the laser. Probably not the most efficient way to deal with that kind of stuff, because it only lasts so long, and a, a precision strike, if I had it available, would have just kind of insta-killed that. Uh, but it's still firing. It's clearing out some other stuff. And it did get the tank like I hoped. But now we've got another bot drop coming in, so... Sometimes, on the higher difficulties, whether it's bots or bugs, it just feels like the, uh, the enemies are endless. But at least the kind of the planes area here is mostly cleared out. I'm just trying to help my teammate who had to respond, because I don't think he's had a chance to pick up his gear. Um, that's definitely an issue when you get to... Uh, well, it's an issue on any difficulty, but definitely the higher ones is when you die. Um, getting to pick up your gear again can be pretty difficult, especially if your teammates kind of spawn you in an area that's far away from them, because, like I was saying, you know, the, there's so much heavy armor stuff to deal with, and if you don't have an auto can or a railgun, expendable anti-tank, any of that kind of stuff, and, uh, I know that expendable anti-tank, that is the advantage of it, is that you can call it down pretty quickly, so even if you do die, you don't have to wait too long before you call another one, but auto cannon, it, I think it's like... 10 minutes or something like that i i just know i i've died and i thought you know i've been alive for a long time and i still don't have my autocan available again um so that can be definitely be a big problem if you're not able to pick up your weapons again after you die we're trying to make our approach here teammate called in an autocan turret not sure what it's focusing at there's a hulk back there but i think the autocan turret is focused on something else i called my mortar turret to the side but a, a roaming patrol has kind of walked up on it and i don't think it's going to survive long yeah, it goes down there. Got a couple shots off. Got a few kills. Thinned out that patrol, but they're still going to be running towards me. And we got another bot drop coming. So it never does quite end, but I think all of us are live, and the bot drop it hasn't come in quite yet. So we're going to try and start approaching here. Just going to make sure we're not going to get flanked from these guys on the right. Clear a couple remaining stragglers there. Yeah, and then this Hulk is standing there, but he's not really moving around. Uh, but I think he has some rockets. I think he got hit there. Thankfully, he didn't take too much damage. But I'm going to start making my approach because his focus is on someone else. And someone threw in the nade, took out that outpost right there. Or at least that fabricator right there. Still haven't cleared the outpost completely. But didn't get a shot on the Hulk yet. He turned back towards me. And now I'm getting rocket juggled. And I, that's that's why I was saying I think the the... Hulks with the rocket launcher are the scariest ones because they're actually accurate, unlike the uh, the, the uh, humanoid bots, and they can juggle the hell out of you and do a lot of damage. The bot devastators, which are kind of the guys with the um, the rocket launchers on their shoulders, those guys are also pretty accurate and they can be equally uh, annoying, although they die easier at least. 
But we do manage to take out the last fabricator there. My orbital strike I thought was a little too far away, but it ended up being close enough, able to destroy that. And now the outpost is cleared. But we're getting down to 10 minutes left. We really got to uh, finish this last objective and start our expense, but <laughs> died an explosion there. I think I shot myself. I thought I was aiming far enough to the left, but I think I ended up hitting that box in front of me. And now we're in that situation I talked about where uh, I'm down an auto cannon, and we're getting approached by a lot of heavily armored guys. And I think I might be able to call in mine because the, I don't. I think I've only called in one the entire mission, so it's definitely off cooldown now, but I didn't die too far from here. So I'm going to start making my way over to it. In some weird climbs, get launched. Don't break my back, but I'm okay. To warp backwards. That also happens sometimes when you get launched around. And I see my samples in my auto cannon. I pick that up. Try and go back for the backpack because I realize I missed it, and I get hit by another rocket. So you can see there are two guys. I think there's two rocket devastators walking behind those ATSDs, and I think I got hit by the two of them. And uh, now I'm coming back in. My teammate's begging me. He said, "You gotta leave the auto cannon," and <laughs> I think he's got a point. This area is just filled with too many uh, big threats, and I can call in another one, so that's probably going to be my best play here. So after we clear out this guy right here, I think I am going to call in another one. And uh, this is uh, the, the Rocket Hulk has approached me. He's got a Rocket Devastator with him too, so double rockets. So I'm I'm trying to play it safe here. Calling my Precision Strike while I'm hiding behind a rock. And it looks like a direct hit, uh, but the Hulk is still alive, and this guy's walking up on me. I think I got the Rocket Devastator, but I'm once again getting rocket juggled two of my teammates are down i'm just deciding that maybe i need to get out of here now uh, one of our teammates did manage to complete the main objective during that time so it is just time to do the extraction if we can get to it but i'm just getting bullied here trying to turn around to take a look and more rockets trying to heal again and i do go down to that hulk so you can see how annoying it can be when you're uh when you're not able to get behind cover against the rocket guys because they are very accurate and they will ruin your day but uh, I did manage to get respawned again, and I think I'm back near my original death spot, so I can go back for the, uh, the original auto cannon that I was trying for before. Hopefully, I think they're still shooting at me, but uh, just bullets aren't as bad as the rockets. And it looks like I might be able to get out of here. Other teammates are calling in their stuff again too, because pretty much all of us have been dying, and we're actually out of reinforces now. So you can see it ticking up in the top left there. It's going to gradually refill one reinforce at a time. But uh, that's uh, not going to be enough to respawn multiple of us if we die. We're going to have to wait even longer. But one of our teammates did make it to the extraction point. Called in the shuttle. And now we're just going to run for that. <laughs> because and I've got my auto can, only like half my ammo. But uh, it is time to get out of here. So I'm heading over here, setting up. Got my mortar cannon ready to go. And they're starting kind of their final push towards us. I think one of our teammates is still trying to get a couple of the sub-objectives if he can uh, before the ship lands, but the rest of us are just set up here to defend using our stratagems to buy us as much time as possible. And I think my uh, well, final orbital laser did come off cooldown right here before the end of the mission, so I do still have that one left. And if I remember, I'm going to call it down to try and defend us. But another one of us does go down... We did get our one reinforced back, but that's probably going to be the last one for the mission because the ship is going to be landing soon. We got more enemies funneling in. Just using my auto cannon on the walker guys to not waste too much time. <laughs> this regular dude just walking up on me, take him out. And reloading my auto cannon again. Still got a decent amount of auto cannon ammo. It, that's, it can last a while as long as you got the backpack, and that is going to be an important thing here. But I'm, I think I'm realizing now I do have my final orbital laser script input once or twice, and then I call it in. And the shuttle is landing, so we're almost home free here. Just going to hope that my laser can do the work. We got a couple different drops coming down. One of them already dropped some stuff right on the shuttle. A second one is also landing right there. Dropped at least one Hulk. Got some of the heavy guys with the chainsaws coming in. Walk right in front of me. Take that guy out quick. Um, the ship is down. We just got to get close to it. I got that shield guy since I have a good shot. But there's at least one Hulk. Maybe two Hulks there. I think I took out the Rocket Devastator. But the ship's about to leave. One person got on. On a run for it. I'm taking some hands. Going for some dies. I'm getting low. And I dive right into a bit of fire on the landing pad. Not sure how that got there. It might have been the Flamethrower Hulk. Uh, and unfortunately, I do die at the end, but the rest of my team was able to extract and we got all the main objectives done So that is still a successful mission in my book left behind some samples 
but I will still be happy with that victory there. So that there was a match against the automatons, not the, uh, the event match, the defense one that, uh, they've been doing right now. I have played a little bit of that, but the difficulty for it was, uh, was not tuned very well. So I've heard they've adjusted that now, so I'll have to give that another try and see how that goes. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching uh, the battle against the Terminator Menace. And if you hadn't fought against the Automatons, uh, I recommend trying it out. It is pretty fun. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.